half a month. I took a cookie for one month made in my life. Um, and so yeah, we're strong with, but it's love from family, love from friends, a lot from peers around me. Um, and it's something that I've really struggled to understand throughout my entire life. But you know, my journey with Christ has brought me to a new, uh, renewed, and beautiful understanding of what love really is. Um, so I think a lot of you guys probably relate to this, but I grew up in a Christian home. I grew up with my parents who were Christian, they brought me to church every Sunday, brought me to youth group on Friday nights. Um, I really enjoyed going to church and growing up there. Um, I, I was the kid that would ask the questions and uh, get praise from the teachers for answering all the questions, saying, oh, the Bible, the Holy Spirit, Jesus, you know. Um, and I enjoyed that. I received love from them, the people at church. But the one area that I didn't really understand love was love from God. That seemed kind of separate to me. Like, I saw a lot of friends and family in church. I didn't really know what God's love was. God's voice was very quiet in my life. I didn't really understand it. When I, when I moved to high school, some of you guys are moving from year six to year seven now. You're going to be starting high school next year. Some of you guys already know what it's like. Moving to high school can be pretty, pretty daunting. Uh, you want to make friends and you want to find people who are going to love you and care for you and you know, share the same interests. Sometimes, though, you start to conform yourself. You try to look like them or be like them, live like them. I think I found myself doing that a lot when I moved into high school. You know? And I think I compromised a lot of the things that I believed in at the time. And one of the things that I was really challenged by but from a lot of my friends who really looked at uh, science and logic and really disapproved of my faith and my belief in Jesus and in God. So that was one of the things that made me realize I didn't really know who God was. I knew church, I knew friends, I knew family, but I didn't know who God was. Um, and so I was really scared about it. There were a couple of times where, you know, my friend talked about it and I just stayed silent. I didn't say anything. I didn't know what to say. To the point where I went to my parents and told them, I don't think I want to be a Christian anymore. I don't think I am a Christian because I don't know who God is really for me. I couldn't explain it with logic or science or facts like everyone at school was trying to get me to. But my dad uh, was really loving about it. I was scared at first because, you know, like, like a lot of your parents, you know, Christian guy uh, really wanted me to believe in God, but suddenly his kids coming to him and saying, I don't know. And my dad told me, well, you know, if Jesus didn't come back to life, then, you know, it means nothing to us. But if he did, if he did resurrect, if he did die on the cross, that means everything. It means that my life has to change. And he was explaining to me that's what love was. Um, so he got me to read and look and investigate for myself what the gospel was um, and the truth behind the resurrection. So I went to read a book. Um, it's called Case for Christ. And it was a book looking at um, the, le the legitimacy, which is like the, I guess, the facts of the Bible and of the resurrection. And I couldn't dispute it anymore. I saw it, and I saw it as truth. And now I knew that you know, Christ did rise from the dead. And that means that my life had to change. Because that death in the cross meant love. Um, and the Bible says uh, that you know, God loved us so much even though we didn't love him. Uh, but he still gave his son to die on the cross for us so that we can be uh, reconciled to him. And we can have a right relationship with him. That love is something that I didn't earn. It's a love that I didn't work for. It's not one that I deserved. But that was real love. I didn't have to change myself like I did to friends. I didn't have to answer questions like I did at church. That was love. And it was sacrificial. And so, uh, in those moments and times where I thought about it, the Spirit spoke to me, and I understood that all I had to do was say, Jesus, I'm sorry, and I love you. And thank you for loving me. And that's how I, uh, myself, became a Christian. But I still struggle. Uh, this is when I was only, you know, year 10, uh, when I gave my life to Christ. I still struggled day after day, you know, living at school in a world that doesn't believe in God. Um, still trying to live my life for Christ amongst a, a world that lives for the world. Um, but luckily, and by God's grace, I met a lot of good friends. I went to uni to meet uh, more Christians who support me in my faith and who know the same love uh, that God has shown to me. And I hope that you guys can find that same love in Christ who loves you so much as well. Yeah, thanks. Woo!